Hello and welcome to part two of making your own cute little animation in Blender. In part one, we tackled the modeling of this cute little character. And in this part, part two, we're gonna be taking care of the rigging. I'm gonna be taking you through the whole process of how to make this eye rig here, which we can use to point his big cute eyes at something and also control his head a little bit and also the arm down here. When we're done with that, we're gonna then get into actually animating this with some very simple and basic animation. And that'll prepare us for heading on to part three. So if you haven't already seen part one, you can check it out. You can also look in the description below if you wanna follow me on Instagram and other social media. And also if you're interested in having these assets, you can also check me out on Patreon. That's also in the description below. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with part two of this little animation tutorial. Okay, so before we get into the rigging, we're just gonna quickly prep a few things. So let's select the eyeballs here, and let's just go over to our modifiers. I'm gonna apply the mirror, because we need this to be two separate objects. So go to the mirror, come to the drop down, and just click apply. And now if we tab into edit mode, these are two separate meshes. We're gonna hit A to select everything. Then we're gonna hit P, and we're gonna go separate by loose parts. Then we're gonna tab back out of edit mode, into object mode, and you can see if you hit G, both of these eyeballs are selected. Make sure that nothing else in the scene except these two eyeballs are active. Then you can hit F3 on your keyboard. And you come to the search bar and you're gonna type in set space origin. And you're gonna to come to origin to geometry. And now that little orange dot, by the way, if you can't see it, come to the drop down up here and enable origins. That origin point needs to be in the exact center of each one of these. So each one of these eyes is its own object and if you double tap R when selecting it, it rotates around its own access point. This is super important. The, what we're gonna do further on doesn't work if this isn't like this. So make sure you do that. Once you've done that, we're gonna select the head and we're gonna go Shift A, or sorry, Shift S and we're gonna take our cursor to select it. So that cursor that's down here in the middle is now gonna be in the middle of this head and we're now gonna go Shift A we're gonna to go to our armature options and add in a single bone. At the moment, moment, it's inside the head. So let's go over with that armature selected. Let's go over to our armature settings or object data properties for the armature. And let's come over here to the viewport display dropdown. And let's just make the in front box ticked so we can see it. With that now visible through the mesh, let's tab into edit mode with that selected. And this is our head bone. Let's just disable the um, proportional editing. We don't need that. What we need to do now is we need to add bones to where the eyes are, okay? So let's just quickly tab back into object mode by hitting tab. Select the right eye in the front of graphic view. Then hit Shift S and just go cursor to selected. Then select the armature, hit tab to go into edit mode. And in edit mode, hit Shift A and it'll automatically add a bone exactly in the middle of the eye. Tab Again, so hit tab to go into object mode, select the left eye, then hit shift S and go once again, cursor to selected. Then click on the armature and once again, hit tab to go into edit mode. And once again, you will hit shift A to repeat. And it's now added that bone exactly where that cursor is. Keep the cursor there. So click on this bone to fully select it. Hold in shift and go over to the other side and click on that. Both these bones are now active. Then hit free on your number pad to go into the right orthographic view. It should sh show up here, right orthographic view. And then you're gonna go R negative nine zero. Oh, sorry. Go up here first and change the pivot transform to 3D cursor. Then you're gonna go R negative nine zero in your right orthographic view and hit enter. So we're just rotating this 90 degrees on a negative on the right orthographic view. We can now come up here and just change that back to median point. Now with both of these bones still active, we're gonna go Shift D and we're gonna go Y and move these new duplications forward. And then we can just select this nub here, hold and shift select this nub at the tip and then go G, Y and just make it a bit smaller. Then you're gonna select both of these by holding and shift and clicking on them. Then you can go Shift S and you're gonna go cursor to selected and now it's adding this in the middle, and then you're gonna go Shift A, it's adding in a new bone. So make sure the nub at the top is active, and then go G, Z, and bring it down. 
We're now going to select both of these bones. And then while you're still holding and shift, select this bone in the middle last. Then go control P and go keep offset. We're now going to select both of these bones and this bone here. So these three, make sure this one, this one, and this one are selected. Holding and shift, select the head bone and then go control P and then go keep offset to parent it. So now these three bones here, this is the main controller for the eyes and the two um, bones that the eyes parent to are now parented to this head and these two look at bones are parented to the control itself. So now what we need to do is go over into pose mode, not object mode. And essentially we want these two bones, which the eyes will be parented to, to look at or point to these bones the whole time. It doesn't matter where we move this main controller, these two need to be looking at it. So let's select the first controller here, holding and shift select the one that's gonna be controlling, which is this one here. Then hit control, shift, C. So once again, control, shift, C, and then we're gonna go damped track. And then select this bone here on the other side to look at Holding and shift, select the one that's going to be controlling. Then go control, shift, C, and then once again, damped track. Then click on the main controller, and if you hit G now, you should see those bones look at it. All we simply have to do now is go into object mode, select this eye here, hold and shift and select the armature, and then you can go back into pose mode. You can also hit um, control, shift, tab, or shift, tab, I believe, or... I think it's control tab. Yeah, you can hit control tab as a shortcut into pose mode. And then we see, you can see that eye there is active. We're gonna hold and shift and select this bone. And then we're gonna go control P and we're gonna go object parent to bone. Then go back into hit tab again to go into, or control tab and go into object mode again. Or you can just manually come to object mode here. Then select the other eye Holding in shift, select the armature again, then go back into pose mode, and now click on this bone that's in the inside there, this one, and then go control P and then set parent to bone. Now if we click on this main control bone and we hit G to move it, you can see what happens, right? Pretty cool, isn't it? Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just, I accidentally enabled this magnet thing up here, so I'm just gonna disable that. So if you see here, I select this eye control. Look at that, now we can make the eyes point at anything we want. So let's quickly do a few more things. So let's go back into object mode, just select the ears, and then also select, hold in shift and select this little nose, and hold in shift and select these eyelids. Okay, so all of these elements here should be active. Then hold in shift still and select the armature. Go into pose mode again, and then click holding and shift, just click on this bone here, or just click on it. Like you don't even have to hold and shift, just click on that bone there. Control P and then set parent to bone. And now if we select this bone and we rotate it, you can see all of that goes along. What we still need to do is just go back to object mode, just also select the head capsule there and then hold and shift, select the armature. Back in pose mode, just click on this head bone, go control P and then set parent to bone. So now if we rotate it, we should see all of that goes along, but we can still control where the eyes look at. If you want to set anything back, hit A to select all of the bones, Alt G, Alt R, and Alt S. That should set back any transforms, okay? So it's exactly back to where it was. So now let's go back into object mode and let's quickly rig the arm. So go into your front orthographic view and um, just go shift S and just set the cursor back to, in fact, select the arm here, then go shift S and just go cursor to selected. Then go shift A and let's go to our armature again and add in a single bone. And once again, under the, uh, the armature object data properties here, under the viewport, make sure to enable in front and then also come to the display as, and let's just make that the B bone. Now we can tab into edit mode. Once again, just enable up here under your pivot transform 3D cursor. Hit A to select all of this and in your front orthographic view, you can go R, negative, nine zero and hit enter. So now it's pointing that way. You can also, if you want, just grab the knob at the top here and just move it 
this way, which, whichever is easier for you. It doesn't really have to be perfect. We can now um, just tab out into object mode again. And we can go Shift S and just make the cursor go back to the world origin. And now just select this bone here and you can go G and you can go X, so G, X, and just move it into the body to about here. Then with it active, just tab back into edit mode for the bone and just select this nub here and then go G and go X and just move it back to about here and then go E to extrude and extrude it out like this and then E to extrude again. There are better rigs than the one I'm showing you here. Um, so for example, you could just make one bone and then add bendy sections to it and have like a controller. I've actually done a tutorial on that before, but I'm just making this one super simple. So um, I know this is really primitive. If anybody says you could have done this better. Um, so then we're just going to extrude it one more segment like this. We're going to select everything now and we're just going to go control alt s and just scale it in. So hit control alt s with everything active. And once it's like that, just select this front tip bone. And let's just go Alt P and let's just go Disconnect Bone. We're now going to go into Pose Mode. We're going to select this bone here, which is the second bone from this disconnected bone. And also, let's just go up here to Pivot Transform and just set that back to Median Point. So this guy here, we're going to select the IK actually. Then holding and Shift, we're going to select this bone here second. Control Shift C and then we're going to go um, IK. So let's get the inverse kinematic. So now if we select this bone here and we hit G to move it, um, it's a bit crazy. So let's just, I think I need to still disconnect the parents. Let's just quickly go back into edit mode. Select this bone at the tip again. Then go Alt P and just go clear parent as well. Now if you go back into pose mode and you select this tip bone and hit G to move it, you should see that all goes along with it like that. Okay. Now there are other things you can do to make this a lot better, like for this to follow the rotation, but really aren't too fussy about it at the moment. Just keep it simple. So if you've moved anything, just select it, Alt G, Alt R, Alt S. Okay. Just to reset any transforms. Then tab out of edit mode into back to object mode. Then select the arm and then holding and shift select the armature over here. And then go Control P. And this time you're going to go with automatic weights. So now it's weighted the mesh to this rig. So if you select a rig now and you go into pose mode and you select this controller and you hit G, you can see we now control that arm. Pretty cool, huh? And that's all of our rigging done now. So just tab back into object mode and we can now pretty much get into doing the animation for this little tutorial. So to get started with the animation, we're going to start with the head. So let's select the head armature and let's go into pose mode. So let's go into pose mode. And in pose mode, we're going to first of all select the head bone itself, which is this one here. And actually maybe not that one. I think just select all of them. Select all of the bones to get started with. So just hit A to select everything. Okay, so all of the bones are active in pose mode. And let's come over here to our timeline and let's drag the timeline to frame 20. And in frame 20, with everything active, we're going to hit I on our keyboard and we're going to come and insert a location and rotation keyframe. And then we're going to drag the slider to frame 40. And on frame 40, we're going to click on this main eye control bone here. And in our front view, we're just going to go G and we're going to move it so that it's kind of looking down towards where that control is, like that. Right? So just point it down like that. And then we're going to take the head here. And we're going to hit R and we're just going to rotate it just a little bit like that. And then we're going to hit A to select all of it. And on frame 40, we're going to hit I and insert a location and rotation keyframe. We're then going to take the slider and with all those bones still active, we're going to drag to frame 60 or maybe frame 58. Let's go to frame 58. And on frame 58, with all of this active, we're going to once again hit I to insert a location and rotation keyframe. And this is going to give us a hold. So if you come here to frame 20 and you hit the space bar, you can see it looks down, it's a bit of a hold, but we don't want that hold to be too still. So let's come over to frame 50. And on frame 50, we're gonna give the head, to grab the head bone, we're gonna give a hit R just to slightly rotate it, and G just to move it just a little bit. And we're gonna grab this eye controller here, and we're gonna go G, and we're gonna move it just a little bit more down. And then we're gonna hit A to select everything, and we're gonna hit I, and insert a location and rotation keyframe. So now if you go to frame one, 
and you hit the space bar, this is what it should look like. Okay. If it's a little bit coming back a little bit too sharply, just come back to frame 50 and just adjust that main control bone just a little bit. Hit A to select everything and then hit I and insert a location rotation keyframe. So just try that out, see what kind of works. Then we're gonna drag the slider to frame 70. We're gonna drag it to frame 70 and on frame 70, we're gonna take the head bone here and we're just gonna rotate it just a little bit to the side and we're gonna hit A to select everything and then we're gonna hit I to insert a location and rotation keyframe. And we're gonna then come to frame 85. And in frame 85, with all of these bones still active, we're gonna hit I and insert a location and rotation keyframe. We have a hold now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to about frame 75. So 75, 76. And we're gonna grab this main eye bone on frame 75. We're gonna go G and move it till the character's looking back at us. And then we're gonna hit I and insert a location and rotation keyframe, right? And in fact, you can hit all of the bones, hit A to select all of the bones, and then hit I, location, rotation. So this is what we should see, right? The head tilts back a bit, and it kind of looks at us like this, okay? Now, the thing with this, this quick little stare is too quick. So what we need to do is create a little bit of a pause. So let's come over to 75, right, which is good. So from 70 to 75, he looks at us. But we need to also come over, um, so let's actually take, just select the, the look at bone by itself and let's hit control C so if you hit control C with that bone active you can come over to frame 84 and then you can go control V and it'll paste that bone in the exact same location then you're gonna hit I and insert a location rotation so now what we're gonna get is this okay in fact come over to frame 50 85 and then once again go control V and paste it in the exact spot and you go I and insert a location rotation Okay, so this is have a look at that Okay, I mocked up a bit there because that keyframe there before it is maybe a bit redundant But just to save confusion. Let's just keep it as it is So he's gonna come kind of come like this quickly blink at you and this is come to frame 39 hit a to select everything and then go I and insert location rotation so it's gonna kind of just look up like this. And then we're gonna go to frame, maybe let's just look at it like this. So let's go to frame 100 or 105. And in frame 105, we're gonna take the eye controller, I'm gonna go G and just point it back down. At the um, control stick here, we're gonna hit A to select everything, hit I and then location rotation. Okay, so this is what we should see. It kind of looks, looks down again and then He's looking down here, okay? And now what we're gonna do, it's at this point, as he looks down again, where we're gonna animate the hand moving the joystick. So let's just come and go back into object mode. Then we're gonna select our second rig here, and we're gonna go into pose mode. And lift the second rig here, we're gonna slide through, and then we're gonna wait till he does the second look down. And just after that, at about 110, with all of these bones active, we're gonna hit I, and we're gonna in fact, let's just pose it first. Let's just come over here, select the control bone, and frame 110, let's just move it down to about here. And then we're gonna hit I to insert a location and rotation for that control bone. Okay, maybe move it back on the Y just a bit. Hit I, rotation, location, so just about there. And then over about, let's just say to about 130, is gonna push this lever in. But we first need to animate the lever. So let's just quickly go over to our object mode again. And let's just select this joystick or this lever, right? So let's go to frame 110, where we know that hand animation is gonna start. In frame 110, if this joystick active, we're gonna hit I, and we're gonna insert a rotation key, just a rotation. And then we're gonna come over to frame 130, or maybe even, let's have a look at it. Okay, so frame 125, and in frame 125, we're gonna go R, and we're gonna go X, and we're gonna rotate it on the X about this much, and then we're gonna hit I, and insert a rotation keyframe, like this. Okay, and don't worry about that intersecting, we'll deal with that in a second. And then we're gonna select this keyframe on frame 129, or 125, so just select it. And we're gonna go Shift D and we're gonna drag it out to create a bit of a hold. 
for about 100 to 140. Okay, so it's going to have a bit of a hold. And then we can come and click here and select this one on 110. And we're going to go Shift D to duplicate that keyframe. And we're going to drag that to 150. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to press in, hold for a bit, and then pop back up. Okay, so that's at this point where we have to select the armature here, go into pose mode, and then come to 110 where that all starts. And then we're going to slide through to 130 or 125 in this case. And we're going to go G and just move it against the knob there, maybe up a bit. And then we're going to hit I and insert a rotation and location keyframe for that. So now we have this. And we need to have the arm going back. So at about 135, we'll select this first keyframe on 110, Shift D, and we're going to drag it to 135. So the arm's going to do this and go back. Okay? And then that lever just goes back by itself, like that. So that's cool. Now let's go back into object mode. And let's just quickly select the box here and just tab into edit mode. Shift Alt and click on an edge here to loop select it. Control plus just to select all of that geometry. And then you can go S to scale it a bit. And then S, Y, and just scale it along the Y like that. So now it should look like that. Cool. So there we have it. Now we have pretty much, let's just go to frame one and just check the whole thing out. So I'm going to go into my front view. I'm just going to select the armature and then select both of them by holding in shift. And then I'm just going to hit M. I'm going to go new collection. I'm going to call it rigs. I'm going to hit OK. And then under here in our collections, we have a new collection we can untick to get rid of those rigs. So now all we see is our character. So let's go to frame one and then hit the space bar. And that's what it's going to look like. All right? It does the little animation and it all pops back up. And now all we have to do is pop his head back to where it needs to be. So let's quickly enable our rig again. Click on the head rig go into pose mode and make sure all of these bones are active. And let's go over to just shortly after he presses in the lever. So let's have a look at it. So maybe at about 130, let's go to about 130 and then hit I to insert a keyframe for location and rotation with all of these bones active. And then at 145, let's just go Alt G, Alt R, Alt S to reset all the transforms. And let's hit I and let's insert a location and rotation keyframe for all of these bones. So now his head's going to kind of tilt down. He's looking and it all goes back to place after the animations run. So let's have a look at that. Pushes in the lever and then looks back. All right? And the whole thing should be loopable. So let's just come over and let's cap this animation at, let's just say 220. And that should be fine. And let's go back into object mode. And let's just untick the rigs layer here as we don't need to see the rigs. So now we have this super adorable little animation. He's kind of unsure if he wants to do it, but then he kind of does it. And we're going to have something cool happen, like a little physics simulation, which is actually the easy part compared to the rigging. So that's what we're going to do now. Just a quick, in fact, let's save the simulation for when we do the lightings and material and the final render. So that's gonna be in part three. So this was pretty much where we do our rigging and our animation, but I'll see you guys on part three. And once again, all of this stuff is gonna be available on my Patreon, the actual um, models and things. And it also really helps support the channel going into the future. So I'll see you guys on part three.